What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we will talk about this correction that is going on right now in the market. To be exact in the last couple of days in Bitcoin we got down almost $12,000 just today I think it was $8,000 and not only in Bitcoin you can see that almost the whole market is red right now two digits minus almost everywhere and in today's video we will talk about exactly this what has happened what will happen next what we can expect next is this just a correction is this the start of the next crash what can we expect and of course what i will do but before we are getting started as always the first link in the video description is my patreon account and there you can get access to my patreon only discord community there you can chat and discuss with all the other members also including me and of course you also get all my portfolio and trading updates so looking forward to see you guys there and now let's get straight into the analysis right now we are in bitcoin and as i mentioned we got down almost twelve thousand dollars from the peak it was forty two thousand dollars the dip that we had today was yeah close to thirty thousand dollars that is pretty exact twelve thousand dollars and yeah in my discord group the first people are starting to ask what do you think about this and i'm planning to do a video since last night i also posted a little patreon update on that and in the beginning i want to give you the short form and then we will go into detail where i explain to you what are the reasons for my analysis so in short form this is not the next big crash this is just a normal correction and i know it seems massive because twelve thousand dollars but take an account that we are i think we are doubling just or we were doubling just in two weeks or so and now we have a correction of 20 percent something like this yeah okay almost 30 percent and uh, that is pretty normal so that is not a very big correction right now i know the number from the dollar perspective is big right now but you always have to take into account what happened before and that was massive so the twelve thousand dollars is just a normal correction and that brings us to the next point what i always mention in my last videos is that a correction should be expected at any time soon because you can see here the rsi you can switch to almost every crypto that is or was going up the rsi was pretty pretty much overbought the fear and greed index as i mentioned is in the 90s for over one month now it is still at 90 but the the crash the crash the drop down from today is not included we will have the next update in three hours and 43 minutes I will also give you a little update on my discord account about this but i'm expecting this to go a little bit lower but not like for example neutral to the 50s but maybe to the 80s or something like that but we will see about this this was just the reason why i said that a correction should be expected at any time because the market is heavily overbought and the general opinion is too bullish and that is in the short term not a very good sign and if you don't have more background information then right now of course you don't know okay how do i judge this uh, if this will just be a short correction or is this the start of the next big crash and that is exactly the reason why you need more background information and that is what i want to give you today and the first background information is this right here this is our self-developed indicator and in case you are new to this channel and never seen this before this is the buyer index as i said it is a self-developed indicator 
and this indicator is showing us how many buyers are in the market right now and if there are too many buyers in the market like for example right here then this is a very bad sign because then there are not enough people to buy anymore the first people are starting to sell and that gives us the conclusion that a bigger correction is in front of us and if there are just very few buyers in the market like for example right here this was by the way back at the end of march so after the the big crash in bitcoin from i think it was 10k to 3.8k then there were very few buyers in the market and this is a very positive sign and as you can see right now here where the red line is this is where we are right now and you can clearly see that there is much more space to grow right here and this is a long-term indicator so that tells us that in the long term this looks still very good and this is the reason the first reason why i was just expecting a normal correction and not the start of the next big crash or something like this and that is so this right here the buyer index is also the reason why i am bullish on cryptos since here so since march and that is exactly the point where i bought in and right now i'm still very bullish on cryptos because the buyer index is still very low and there is much more space to grow and that is just one reason let me show you the next reason the next reason is the total market cap of the whole crypto market and you can see here two blue lines the first blue line is the previous all-time high from coin market cap on coin market cap the previous all-time high was eight around 830 billion and as you can see right here from this chart in this chart it was a little bit lower it was 763 billion and that is why i put both lines right here and it is very normal that when we break through the old all-time high dynamically that we will have a retest to the old all-time high and this is in this range right here from 760 yeah let's say 760 billion to 830 billion today you can see we hit that we were at 805 billion so that is a very positive sign for us but that don't mean that right now this will happen here that we just going up again that is not what we can expect right now let me show you what the historical chart is showing us you can see here i also put in another line right here and this is from the previous cycle so back in 2016 and this right here is the point where we broke our last all-time high and you can see a similar pattern to what we are seeing right now we broke it dynamically then retest it going a little bit back up then retesting it again also going below the old all-time high but then quickly jump back up and you can see here we tested it three times one two three and then we are starting to moving back up again but we have to also take a look at the time window so right here this was our high then we got the correction but till we broke or break that high again it took us 172 days that is almost six months and that is why i said before that we should definitely not expecting something like this right here where we are going straight back up and this rally continues because this is very unlikely instead of this right here we should expect something like like this here where we are going sideways testing uh, testing the lows again 
maybe as in the previous cycle three times and then after a certain period of time i know this is not the best drawing right here and this is very unrealistic that the price is going back here but just for a showcase that we should not expect this market to just recovers in two days and then in a week we are back at the all-time high and just continuing to rallying up higher that is in my opinion very very unlikely what is much more likely is that we are seeing some cooling down of the market this was the first big run up in the crypto market in this bull run and now we have to cool a little bit down kick out some kick out some investors out of the market that get that gets fearful because for example they are thinking oh now is the next time this uh, the market will totally crash and forty thousand dollars bitcoin is all that we got and that's it and then they get out but with our information that we have and that i just showed you you and i we both know that we have this right here that is telling us that the long-term trend is not over yet we also have the historical data that is also showing us that this is just a normal correction a, a cool down of the market where the market can recover as i said kick out some investors and buyers out of the market and then when this stage is finished then we are ready for the next upward move but we have to expect this to take its time because as i showed you right here this was almost six months so we also can or could expect something similar maybe we are a little bit faster right now but i definitely would consider that this will take some time till we really break out again above the old all-time high from the total market cap so what does that mean for us for me that means that right now we are starting or we are in the accumulation stage where we can pick up good prices again with a 30 percent discount 40 percent discount maybe even with a 50 percent discount and that is exactly what i will do now over time i will start to accumulate more and get more of my money into this market even if i'm already in with the most part of my money but in this stage right now i really want to get in with all of my money so that all the money profit from the market and not just sitting there and doing nothing and if you want these updates then of course i will share all the updates what i'm buying when i'm buying why i'm buying all these updates i share on my patreon account as i said it is the first link down in the video description definitely make sure to check that out it is absolutely worth it and if you have any more questions about this video or this topic maybe even you have a different opinion then feel free to write that down in the comments if this video was helpful then please leave a like subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future updates that's it for this video see you in the next one and as always have a nice day